Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I thought you would like, might like to see me uh, open this up today. This is a little bit of happy mail that I ordered from an Etsy shop, Katie Daisy. Um, I think it's actually, um, well, let me go in. I, I can't remember the name for, of the shop for sure, if it's this or if it's a different name and that's the maker. Anyway, handle with care. Do not bend. Isn't that cute? It's got the bees on there. I like their stuff. It's all super flowery and detailed and bright and cheery. Uh, she adds here this neat little thank you note sticker. Not thank you note. Thank you sticker on the back. Which, of course, I will try to preserve for my junk journal. Let's see if we can do this without demolishing it. They have on this shop the cutest stuff. There's prints, there are cards, there are um, t-shirts available. Uh, it's just all really decorative and fun. And so I went into order a few cards and some thank you notes. And I've not seen it in person. I've only seen the shop. So there we go. I got that unattached successfully and I'll try to peel these off too. And let me just check inside. Yeah, got it all. Okay. So here, this is a postcard pack. This looks like actual photos. So let's look. Well, hang on a second. That's going to be a gift, so I may not want to open that up because I don't want to give that to my friend and having rooted through it already. But if I'm not remembering right, then we'll go ahead and open that up. So it's just taped there. I like this clear cellophane type packaging. What do you call this crinkly stuff? Because I like to see the stuff inside. So also, I forgot to mention a second ago, they have stickers, lots and lots of stickers. So these are the ones I selected. This pretty flower bouquet. It's uh, The background is sort of a light I guess I would call it maybe like a charcoal gray or a dark gray. And then I really liked this uh, earth one. thought that was really pretty. I love the colors on it. So I'll probably, typically what I do with these is decorate my Traveler's Notebook inserts when I'm putting an, a new one into one of my notebooks. I like to add those to the um, covers because I oftentimes buy the plain craft paper or the lighter paper ones. So let's look at these cards. This one says feeling grateful. And you, whoopsie, oh my gosh. Sorry about that. Let's get this on the screen here. Um, lots of detail inside. There's a faint look of like graph paper in the background. Flowers, thank you so much. Yes, yeah, so, sorry, I wasn't sure when I opened it. I couldn't remember the name of the shop. It is Katie Daisy. And then look at the neat envelope. It's like a craft paper, a medium brown. I, I just like that natural look so much, and it looks really fun. Um, if you have like the Posca type ink pens or the Uni Signal um, white ink one, stuff like that I think is so much fun to use on this darker cut type envelopes. And it looks like they're all that way. I go to nature every day for inspiration. That's a quote from Frank Lloyd Wright. And I love the mushrooms. They have a mushroom t-shirt that's on brown, which is perfect. I like the nature-y natural colors, uh, more deep and rich, um, earthy, golden undertones. Anyway, I wanted to get that, but I debated, so I just decided to get cards. But on the inside, you can see there's another cute little mushroom and these little mushrooms and a butterfly and it says have a beautiful day and again that faint graph paper background original art by Katie Daisy okay so this is all new to me I recently found it on Etsy and I liked it I have a couple people having babies that I know of one um, acquaintance just had her another little girl and this says hello sweet one and I love deer and I especially love 
fawns uh, when I was a little girl, really little. My grandma had these little glass deer on her dresser, and she would take me in to see them sometimes. And so I guess I have a little tender spot in my heart for those because it was just a sweet little memory of my grandma and myself. So anyway, I thought these were too cute. Real natural, woodsy looking, kind of that woodland crit critter effect. Again, the graph paper background. Not sure if that is showing up, but I like that. The pine trees, welcome to this wonderful world. And then again, her name on the back, but I just think that's so beautiful. And it, I think, fine for a baby, a boy or a baby girl. <clears throat> and I'm just noticing the envelopes are um, the same size, but you can see the style's different. This is more shorter flap and rounded, and this is more a little bit longer and angled. Not that that matters at all, but it's just something to notice if you have a preference on that. Okay, so there is that. And then these are plant um, 14 postcards. It's the Daydreamer set. And I will try to zoom that in so you can see them all different pretty flowers. And I think my friend will like this because she is a outdoorsy, natural, anything to do with nature. I really want to open it and show you, but since I'm giving it to her as a gift, I don't feel like I should do that. This is a sticker thing here, so if otherwise I could slip open this cellophane packing. But I'll try to point out, um, when I saw this on her store, I thought this one here was like some of her drawings. And so I thought that it was all gonna be that way. But it looks like the back of the cards, and to say, there's nothing wrong with this. I think it's it'll be perfect, and I think my friend will enjoy that. But I thought it was more her artwork. And oh gosh, I'm second guessing myself now. As I look at this, maybe it is art. Some of it looks so realistic. And then the back of the postcard, you can see through here, but it's got the illustrations on it her art looks like watercolor um see that one looks like a picture like a photo to me although there's some background in there that doesn't i mean that looks drawn and then there's like random blue petals on the succulent so i'm a little confused maybe she adds a mix of nature and art, her artistic touches. And then like here, this one, that looks like it could be a drawing. I think they're a mix. I don't know how, how that's done, but that's my guess. But I loved the back of it. It's kind of that vintage whimsical look. And it just really appealed to me, all the detail, even in that. So... Anyway, this is a little gift for a friend who is doing a few things for me that I asked her to make, and she's also just a really generous person, always giving to others, so I decided uh, just to give her this little postcard pack. So there you go. I hope you take a look at that on Etsy. There's so many beautiful things on her store site. Oh, here's the little um, Lily of the Valleys, which is Another favorite, going back again to that scene, Grandma. That was her same favorite flower. So I think I just liked those over the years. Anyway, short little video today, but I wanted to show you this. If you haven't seen this shop, definitely check it out. Um, the stuff is really adorable. I think I, I might like to get more of these stickers eventually and maybe some more note cards because they're so pretty. They're just beautiful. Makes a a card special and part of my thinking was I think these were three something a card I mean you spend that much at the store for a card and I, I just like the idea of supporting maybe um, some Etsy vendors so I thought well I'd rather buy these I think they're prettier and than a lot I've seen lately anyway so anyway there you go Hope that was interesting to you. Hope you're having a great weekend, and at least here we're having sunny weather, so nice time to get out and walk one of those park trails or something. We will see you next time.